<laughs> Daniel was gonna finish this off and put the material on it, like put it all back together again after he painted it, but he's gonna work. So I'm gonna do it instead. And from Amazon I received the stapler. And I also received these really cool oh, 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 buttons. So once you staple it down, look at these. It's got like these little diamante. This is the beautiful piece of shiny material which I managed to get from this kind guy who does furniture for a living. And I'm gonna place it over this. And then I think what we do is, because I'm like kind of reverse engineering this, we find the holes. So if I use, find one of these holes here, there you go, one of those holes, yeah. And then we just work the fabric around the gaps, which there already is, you know, it's been like cut through, and then we staple it down. Right, I'm gonna crack on with this. I've just stapled it down, I've pulled it as tight as I can, and I've put the fabric um, tight behind and then stapled that again. So it's taking shape now. Yeah, I thought that I ordered enough studs, but I didn't, so I'm too short. Well, I actually broke one, but it would still be one short, so I'd have had to order a pack anyway. But this is what we've got so far. Just like leave clothes on it. Da -da! So that's like our clothes thing. And you can sit on it if you want, but those buttons might stick in your bum hole. I'm still going. You wanna see what I've done? I've covered the chairs in the material because they're all nice and painted and all nicely done. And they look quite pretty, I think. I've got to fasten them up, but, I mean, fasten to the actual stool, but I think they look nice. And what I'm doing now looks a bit weird, but this is like a design of my own. Come out. So I had these things on the door and on the other side of this panel, um, this um, chimney breast to cover this panel. Because I want it to, <laughs> simple as that. But now I'm putting foam around them and I'm going to recover them and rehang them. So this is what I've done so far. I'm gonna glue this foam on and then I'm gonna stretch the material over it and it should look quite luxurious if my plan goes to plan. <laughs> Morning. I'm having a slice of sourdough bread with butter on it and a cup of decaf coffee. I've gone into decaf now because I don't want any possibility of me feeling anxious. So, this has got to stop. You know I'm almost there. It's like, I've got a little bit more work to do maybe for another week, my mum's gonna come and then after that, I'll be back on track. And what that means is going to the gym and stopping this shit. Daniel's having a day of today. His knees are really bad. And he's, he's actually in a lot of pain. I told you, well, you see, when you get as old as Daniel and you're running around at the restaurant, it's not good for you, is it, baby? Told you. So we're gonna have a nice chill diet and I think we might spend the afternoon in this bed because I've just done one of the vlogs, so I'm nearly finishing it and then, we're gonna go to bed and watch a couple of movies, which should be nice. Have a... Oh, I'm in bed. What kind of bed? You... What's wrong with this pillar? Look at it. It's disgusting. This one. Yeah. Jack. Look at its case. Don't throw it. Daniel, you are disgusting. Ordering pizza. And he's like, he's eating all this pizza by himself. I didn't have one piece. I said, let's go and let's go in bed and lie down, we can watch movies and that. And they said, no, we watch a movie here. I got up here to watch a movie and got myself comfortable, got myself comfortable. And he went in the other room. He went to sleep. Didn't you, Daniel? Super cute. No, I'm going to bed. Daniel's in the other room now. He's just watching movies. He's got the door open. I can hear everything. And the doors are open because the dogs keep walking in and out. Hello, Belle. I'm gonna go to sleep. Do you like the blue light? Do you like the blue light, by the way? I think it's cool. Good night. 
Daniel and I have really got to sort out, sort out this problem and that's the problem. I slept on the sofa last night and Daniel slept in the bed. It's like we can't seem to get it right. And I know what it is, it's because I listen to something like a podcast. Daniel listens to some of the stories and that at night, so we've got like these noises and oh, we need to sort it out, Daniel. And my back hurts badly this morning. No, I have one of these beard trimmers in the car man on here. And I think I need to get another one because I'm stuck on the lens. At the moment, I've only got a number one. It's the same length every time. It's not exactly a beard, is it? Daniel's bike does not like the cold weather. Look, stuck again. Let's see what we can do. What's wrong with it? You took your time and uh, battery. No, he's got to, he's got to learn to bump that bike himself. Because if he gets into a situation and there's nobody around to help him or to, because he doesn't actually know how to bump it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of us don't, but he needs to learn. I just slept for an hour and a half, and I never do that. And I've woken up feeling all energized and everything, so I'm out at the park, and I'm thinking I'll go back and I'll start sanding down some of that wood and carry on painting. I mean, let me see when I get back, but I do feel much more energized. Did my vlog this morning and he went out, so things are going according to plan. I'm so glad I had that sleep. She's a bit common. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. She's so rude. <laughs> cougar, darling. Cougar. This is my friend Sharon from Brighton. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you all. So you want to keep watching and subscribe, man? Yay! What was this? Slugging Daniel off saying, you didn't take the dog's pants off when you went for a piss. I did exactly the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wash them and dry them <coughs> before I go to bed. Oh God, it's soaking. Anyway, I'm gonna get these dried and I'm gonna go to bed, but I'll see you in the morning, no doubt. Good night. If you don't already know, my mum's a foster carer and she is due to have some more kids, but I said to her, why don't you come down to London? So she's gonna come down before she gets a new lot of kids on Wednesday, which I'm really happy about. So she's gonna come down on Wednesday, we're gonna see a show, she's gonna be down for a few days. But Daniel is going on Monday, which is not, oh, it's tomorrow. I didn't realise it was tomorrow. And then my friend Sarah's gonna come down from Monday to Wednesday. Um, so I've got quite a week laid out for me, which is gonna be interesting. But today, I've got up late, I've gotta do a bit of work on the computer, but I am gonna do a little bit of housework, meaning um, rubbing down some wood so that I can just tart the house up a little bit more before my mum comes. I was going to throw this away and get another one. And you know, I've just pulled it away out of the hallway and I thought, you know, I've got some pain. Why don't I try and cook it? And it's looking a mess, I'll be honest. But if I just do a few coats, hopefully you won't be able to tell so much. What do you think, Daniel? I think it's okay. What happened to the mirror? The robot Hoover drove into the mirror while it was parked, while well, I put the mirror at the side of the wall in the bedroom, it's a hit and it's smashed and it is a big mirror. Daniel has to clean it. Thank you, Daniel. We're like pain. So I'm gonna get some more um, white and I'm gonna get some, see these doors, which aren't, they aren't great, I'll be honest with you, but I'm gonna get a wood paint, which is kind of like a greeny color, like not as dark as this, by the way, not as dark, otherwise it's gonna look a bit too much. So I'm gonna get like a light green and hopefully it's gonna look quite nice. Maybe I should take a little bit of that green with me. Or should I just guess? The whole house is a mess as per usual. It's always like this when we decorate, you've got to put something from one room to the other. And Daniel's going, so he's packed his suitcase ready and he's got to go at four o'clock in the morning, poor thing. Poor we'll thing. There's a B&Q which is closed down just around the corner from this home base. And now this home base is really, really busy. The problem is, 
I don't personally rate home base that much. It's more like it's even got the oh no, oh, it's got a crap trolley. It's not as good as being cute because it's more fluffy. It's not like got the real like workmen stuff, if you know what I'm getting at. Um, but I'll have to make do with this. I know it's Sunday, but I still need to do all this. I've done a lot about this paint. So it's slightly lighter than the other one. I did that door and I did the two doors, that one. I can't see the other one. And this one just there as well. I did the top ones as well. And I also did the drawers for this cupboard. So they should look, I think it'd be nice when it's all tidied up. What do you think? Beautiful. Oh, I'm glad you like it, babe. Yeah. It'd be better when the mirror's back, <clears throat> which you broke. Don't say that, you <laughs> broke the mirror. It looks all right. The mirror, be, oh, it looks all right, it looks all right. Um, have you got everything packed? Yes. Good. I'm just trying to make sure that my, my bag doesn't go over 23 kilos. Because oh. he always goes over 23 kilos. You know He's that. booked his taxi and I've put um, mm. the gammon joint in the oven for him so he can slice it up and make a few sandwiches. He's also boiling some eggs and he's going to make a little salad so I'll put that out for him. And me, this is my supper. I can't guess what it is. Mayonnaise and butter on bread. <laughs> Good night. Well, I just arrived in um, Victoria. I was taking the train to go to Albania. Oh, the, tra the train station is not even open. <laughs> it's so early, it's four o'clock in the morning. Can you believe this? In less than two minutes, I managed to check in my bag and get my boarding pass <laughs> and just get ready for to go to the departures. And last year, it was like three hours I waited in here. It's unbelievable. It's like, I might book, I might book early from now on. It's just <laughs> five o'clock in the morning, so I can, I can get quick access. Seriously. Oh, oh, that makes me so happy. It's only six o'clock and my flight is in two hours. So basically, I'm two hours early. I'm gonna do nothing. I need to find a place to sit and watch some Netflix. They say that airports are cheap and discount the price and maybe blah, blah, blah. But this is nine pounds for a little sushi. I guess only the Albanians get the sniff of dog on the, on the plane. So like every time I come on the plane, is a, is a dog that's gonna sniff my balls? It's fucking ridiculous. I beg to see both we work on side being same up the lovely Katie, Georgia and Lucy. We just arrived in Albania and it's very sunny. I thought it's gonna be really, really cold, but it's not. I don't know why I did it, I've kind of like cut my hours short for the day. I've got up a little bit late this morning, it's like 10 o'clock. And um, Sarah's coming over, Sam's coming over, oh, Mick's coming over, and I've got to do a whole vlog today. I've also got to clean the bathroom. And I'm um, thinking, have I got enough time? Um, so I'm just gonna rush, I'm sure I can get it done. Come on, Jack, out. Come on. She's so bad, she's like, come on. Not your garden. Jack, no. <laughs> she's so bad. She Climbing in people's gardens, but at least they're um, the neighbours are quite old, so they don't see. Hopefully, otherwise I get told off. I'm making beef stew, and I'm using this, well, actually, this is a um, pressure cooker. But I just asked my friend who's here visiting me, and I said, "Shall I put everything onto like fry like the onions?" And she said, "No, just put them straight in there." So I've put a pack of beef, some potatoes, um, some leeks, some onions, butter and some olive oil and I'm just going to add the carrots and a few peppers and just like do it through. It's like these are the easiest meals and these are the my, these are my favourite meals ever because they're so quick and I don't even take the skins off. The beef stew's cooking and then Sarah and I are going to take the bitches out yeah, so that they can get nice and warm up because hands. Jack needs a run. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, and you're happy and you know it, clap your vagina. That stew just like, it doesn't take long to do it all. And we are having a vodka and coke, and Daniel's, I'm sure he's in Albania, drinking, so I don't give a shit. Cheers. Cheers. You see, he can't say anything to me for drinking now.
And apparently Sarah can't get pissed. I can't get pissed, it's my Livian. <laughs> How's it taste? Mmm. Bellissimo. <laughs> I'm in bed with my wife sharing M&Ms. Yay. You see, this is what you should do every so often. You get a bird, buy some M&Ms, lay in bed and watch some horror movies because this is like apparently the normal thing to do is it yeah oh there you go yeah heard it from the horse's mouth You see, it's so different. You can wake up in the morning, you just make breakfast, you know somebody's going to appreciate it. Instead of a short I'll bang you with big feet saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was actually quite Yummy. nice in the morning. Oh, thank you, Sarah. It's delicious. It's really boring around here in the winter. It's really cold and bright, and it's nothing to do. Goodness. For well, one week it's gonna be fine, it's just I need to chill and just enjoy. Let's go back to London and be stressed again. Tava Bonama. They use this old-fashioned wood burner to get hot, but it only works with one room. It does make it one room really hot, but the other rooms are really cold and they don't have central heating, so the whole house is cold, so every room needs to have their own heating. After me, that's due yesterday, I thought, you know what, I look in the freezer to get something different and there's some mints and cream. So I thought, you know what, why don't I add all the, but there's a lot of ingredients here, so I'm just going to add a bit of this minced beef, I might add half of it, um, to that mixture with some fresh onions, take out the potatoes here, and then I'm gonna make shepherd's pie, or is it cottage pie, or shepherd's pie, or cottage pie, I can never remember, I think one's with lamb, one's with beef, but this is just gonna be, it's not even a pie, it's just like a bowl with meat, and gravy, and veg, potatoes and cheese on the top. Onions are done, so I'm just gonna put that mince in. I actually defrosted this from frozen, it turned out quite nice. And I've chopped up the remainder of the potatoes. You can't over the tip all the water, right? You can't see them. I've chopped them up small, small, left the skins on, and they're just doing it now. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in this mint, and I'm also going to put another stock cube, I think. We don't need too much because this is full of taste and it's lovely. Put cream, no milk, and salt and pepper, and I'm going to put a little bit of mustard in as well. And it's ready to go in the oven. You're very welcome. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Sarah. Mm. Well, Sarah and I just watched a video where it was one of the prime video ones, which wasn't very good, but it was good special effects. It was called The Haunting on Hill House or something like that. Haunting. Was the Haunting. Oh, yeah, it's called Haunting. Sorry, with Catherine Seaton Jones. And it wasn't scary, but it had good special effects in. And we've just taken a swig of Night Nurse to get to sleep <laughs> because it does help you sleep a lot. Um, I'm gonna go to bed, so I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Sarah. Good night. I was gonna get my hair cut again just before my mum comes, but I think it's all right. I mean, we're going to the theater tonight, and then um, when she comes, we'll be going for something to eat. And she knows what I look like. She doesn't care if I look a mess. I've cleaned the house a lot, <laughs> as you probably might have realized. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to picking her up. Sarah's in bed at the moment, so I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna have some bacon, well, actually, like breakfast sandwiches, because there's not a lot of bacon left. I'm not gonna buy any more, but I'm gonna use what's up in the fridge. Never seen you looking so lovely as you did this morning. Never seen you shine so bright. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, always at the minute, last minute, Sarah says, 
She needs to create a vagina account. I need to collect the mail, which I have done, and hang it on the wall. I've got to travel to St Pancreas, as he used to call it, and I'll call it St Pancreas because I learned better to get my mum. But oh, go, 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 go. Go on, Bo. <laughs> I'm so manic, it's like my, heart, my heart's going like that. I just had a Red Bull. And I just said to say, remind me never ever to drink a Red Bull again. I've never, oh, I've never been like this before, but I've managed to put the mirror up so lot I can see my arse. It's disgusting. Sarah's thinking about going to do um, a comedy class because she's just not funny. Um, and she wants to demonstrate her skills right now. Go. Arse wipes. Ta-da! There we go. Bye, Dolly. Love you. Love you. Say hi to your mum for me. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. I had to go for a wee, darling, sorry. I didn't want to go till I stood up. It's alright. I go to put on a waiting for you. That's what happens when you get older. Give me a kiss. <laughs> so, as I said, my mum did get the prints, and I chose that one, that one. And this one, I'm not quite sure which one's I'm going to put where, but I think this one, oh no, this one needs to face inwards, like that. That one facing inwards, and that one's going straight up. Look. And then with the help of my mummy, mummy! This is so hard. And that's how you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we found a little place open and it's called Fulham Oats from One Fulham Kitchen, which is like just two minutes walk from where I am. Just looking at the menu to find something yummy. So we got some tapas stock. Look, did we get tapas stars? No, we didn't. We got some um, chicken wings. And we got some prawns and a tomato sauce. And my mum always says she doesn't like garlic or spicy stuff, so we have it without that. But apparently, my mum says that chicken tastes like chicken. Not garlic or chili. No, it's not true. My mum picked up the salt and pepper, and then she turned it over and poured it into a hand before she put it on there, which was the salt. But look, you tell me in England which one is a salt and which one is a pepper. Oh no, it's the opposite. Look. That is the salt here, and that is the pepper. Well, we just arrived in town. We've got our ticket to see the Book of Mormon, which we're really excited about. Oh, we need to get a coffee first, though. It's exciting. <laughs> well, obviously, we can't film the whole show, so I'll tell you how it goes. Look, all my beautiful pictures which have now fallen off the wall and destroyed the paper which I painted. I knew, because I, I was trying to stick them onto the wall, but the wall papered, so the sticky stuff which I used just came off. We had such a nice night tonight. The Book of Mormon is so funny. It's so funny. And if you're not easily offended, if you're religious, then you might not like it, especially if you're Mormon, so don't go and see it. But it is hilarious. But right now, it's the end of the week, end of the night, and I'm going to say good night. You can say good night, Kathleen. Look at there. Good night, Kathleen. Yeah, and I'll see you next week on Thursday at 6.30. Take care.